Hi, I'm Laura Espinosa, and I'm here with Tina, who will be talking about Hispanic Heritage Month. Tina, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure, Laura. Hi, uh, my name is Tina Viglucci, and I'm the Director of Hispanic Services here at the Gail Borden Library. And like Laura mentioned, we're right now um, celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, and um, we have a big celebration this year. It's October 6th, Saturday, October 6th from 2 to 5 p.m. It's our ninth celebration, and we have a lot to tell you about it today. Um, why are you excited about this year's celebration? I am excited about this year's celebration um, for many reasons. We have, um, the first is we have a committee uh, of community individuals and organizations, and it's always really nice to get together with them and have them at the table and just really have this dedicated time for us mm -hmm. to to work together, to meet, and to do what we want to do, um, which is we take a lot of pride in, um, in thinking of different ideas to both mm -hmm. highlight the contributions of Latinos here in Elgin and to celebrate the richness of, of the different cultures that we all represent in our committee. Um, who are some of the partners or sponsors that are participating in this year's events? So we have a lot of community organizations and of individuals who've donated um, their time, their efforts. Um, we have gotten in-kind donations and we've gotten financial support. And um, you can find more information here on this video about those organizations and we'd like to thank them all um, because this is really a group effort and we couldn't do it alone. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about the live corrido? What is it, and how does it? How is it going to work this year? So, um, a corrido is a uh, a lyrical representation of a story, um, and we have since we're so close to Chicago, we have so many great resources, and one of them is the group Sones de Mexico, and they've been twice nominated for Grammys, and uh, their director Juan Diaz has actually worked with the National Endowment for the Arts to do these corrido workshops across the United States. So mm -hmm. in a corrido workshop, uh, different people get together and he starts by giving them some background information on a corrido. And um, it's, you could say it's both a song and it's a poem and mm -hmm. um, it's a ballad. It tells a story, a narrative. So the first thing they do is they brainstorm what story they're going to tell and um, they all start sharing ideas and they finally settle on a story. And then he teaches them how to write it poetically um, with the verses. Uh, mm -hmm. um, so then together they write th that narrative, they put it into that poetic form, and then they put it to music. Uh, different people in the group will be able, if they bring their own instruments, if they mm -hmm. bring their own guitars, they'll all be able to, to put it together to music and they sing it at the end. Now, a very special thing about this uh, Corrido workshop is that we're inviting the group um, to come then to the celebration on October 6th and perform the Corrido that they write during the workshop. Nice. What are some activities that people can um, expect to experience here at the Hispanic Heritage Celebration? There will be something for everyone. Um, it, the celebration will be from 2 to 5, and we usually start with an opening ceremony from 2 to 2.30, and um, this is really an opportunity to meet many of the leaders in the community who will be delivering uh, a welcome message, uh, and that'll frame the celebration. And starting at 2.30, we will have many activities throughout the main library. So there's the main library at 270 North Grove Avenue. Um, everything will reflect the theme, which is Uplift and Unify. Eh, el tema es eh, Juntos y Adelante y tenemos muchas actividades que reflejan ese tema. Eh, some of the things that you will see that day, one, I, I, I love this project. Eh, our committee came up with it and it's called Quien Te Inspira, Who Inspires You? And we've invited, starting now, anyone can nominate a Latino in the community that inspires mm -hmm. them for either small, big things, um, that help make this community greater. And um, right now we have an exhibit in the youth hallway, and Laura actually was the one who yep. created that <laughs> exhibit. And um, it's a, a slight presentation that's running with the photographs of the different people that have been nominated by their peers here in Elgin and the reason why they inspire them. And um, so that's one of the things that you'll be able to see this running presentation of Latinos that inspire you. And we've asked anyone who nominates someone to have that person join us on October 6th, and they'll receive a pin 
that one of our committee members created especially for them um, to recognize them for that. There are many different ways in which people can experience Latino culture, which is part of what the celebration is about. Mm -hmm. We will be having some music, we will be having dance, we will be having crafts, we will be having stories. Some of the music is, we always love to have Ballet Folklorico mm -hmm. Huehuecoyol. We think they're a jewel, son una joya, aquí en la comunidad de Elgin. And they are part of our committee too. They're among one of the performers that will be here that day. Um, we have a readership that goes out into the community to do stories, and the readership will be at the main library that mm -hmm. day. And their story time is going to be called You Can Be. And my colleague Madeline Villalobos, she's, uh, she's the coordinator of the readership, and she is inviting different people in the community to illustrate the story. So the, the stories will be about different professions, um, different people who live in your neighborhood. The uplift part of the theme mm -hmm. is where we're bringing in people from the community who inspire others. And um, we've invited the Latina, the Today's Inspired Latinas. Mm -hmm. um, there are four books that have been published um, and they're all called Today's Inspired Latina and each edition tells, has different Latinas tell their stories of challenges, achievements, and most of them are from the Chicago area and some of them are from the Elgin area. So there will be a table with different authors, different inspired Latinas, and people will get a chance to meet them, talk to them, and learn more about their stories at the table. The publisher of today's Inspired Latina, Jackie Camacho Ruiz, is, um, she works in marketing, she, um, and she's also a pilot. So we will have a Latina pilot coming also to talk about her experiences and she's writing a children's book called Pilotina, so she will talk about her experiences and the book that she is writing. And that's why we have those wings in the Kids Space Hallway, right? Yes, so the wings in the Kids Space Hallway were inspired by Jackie Camacho, our, um, and it's, it's all, it all goes with a theme about uplift. Um, I also noticed something about Touch a Truck. Is that going to be happening at the event? Yes, yes. Um, we've invited um, the, the fire department and the police department. So the fire department will be having one of their trucks parked outside on the parking lot and the police department will have a SWAT truck in the parking lot. Wow. And the trucks out in the parking lot are a great uh, opportunity for kids to get that first hand experience. And the story that Madeline is doing upstairs will feature also some police and some firemen. So it, it's all tied in. That sounds very interesting. So are people going to be able to make something at the celebration? Yes, we always have crafts and opportunities for both children and families to create and express themselves. So actually this year, um, one of our colleagues, one of our committee members, Dr. Risa Jones, has a special project called My Family, My Community. And she, we will be inviting families to create a craft together. This will be an ornament that then they can place on a tree of life. And that tree of life is really going to gather um, um, uh, ornaments made by families throughout Elgin throughout the year. So they'll be a part of that tree of life and they'll be able to contribute to it. That sounds very interesting. So make sure you attend the Hispanic Heritage Celebration October 6th from 2 to 5 p.m. Do you want to say that in Spanish? <laughs> sí, por favor, acompáñenos para la celebración del mes de la hispanidad el sábado 6 de octubre de, cinco, de 2 a 5 de la tarde en la biblioteca principal de Gilborden, aquí en Elgin. Los esperamos. Thanks, Tina. De nada. Gracias.